Ah, hello everybody. Um, so, I decided to take up another project. Um, I pulled the Raspberry Pi out of this guy. Wasn't very happy with it. Um, it wasn't really working as fast as I wanted it to. Um, the resolution is a little bit screwy here and there with certain things. I couldn't get the higher end systems to run the acceptable frame rate. I had an old PC lying around, so and I'm pretty good with hyperspin, so I figured I'd give that a shot. Uh, went on YouTube, couldn't really find uh, a whole lot of people that had gotten hyperspin working on a 15 hertz CRT. Um, I, I found plenty of people that got it working on an old TV, but I really wanted something that was like pixel perfect um, with the arcade. So uh, I got the JPAC. Um, I got hyperspin running at 480i and uh, everything else running at 240p down the line. So for instance, if I, uh, if I come over here and load up something that we probably all know as a... Uh, load up Street Fighter 3 here. pull up the machine information everybody will see it's let me bring this all the way in it's uh, it's running at 240p uh, at 60 Hertz so um, for the most part it's pretty much on par uh, with the arcade version and uh, the speed doesn't lag <laughs> But yeah, everything is uh, nice and smooth. X out of this thing here. There we go. That's yeah, going a Neo Geo game, everybody. That's what the arcade uh, cabinet was built for. So let me find something. Throw like a metal slug or something. But it's, you'll see it switches resolution to 240p, and then it, uh, it loads everything up. Now if I come over here, you'll see, uh, you can see all the scan lines in it, as soon as it, uh, as soon as it drops. Where they should be, basically. Next out of this, we'll swap the resolution back to 480i. So there, there aren't a whole lot of emulators that I can get work. I got working at 240p because uh, it's uh, everything else is meant for like 640 by 480 or uh, let me exit out of this. 640 by 480 or uh, higher resolutions. So um, most of the RetroArc stuff were run at 240p. Meme were run at 240p. Um, so the nice thing since I've got RetroArc, um, that has a lot of systems in it, so I get most of those systems working. Uh, SNS 9X won't work at 240p. It only works at 640 by 480. I couldn't get that working, but uh, so for stuff like Super Nintendo, um, I'll. Uh, Hit the button, it'll swap resolutions to 240p and it'll load up the emulator. Perfect. 
figure this out. But uh, the same thing with this. Uh, it's all uh, it's all running at a uh, high resolution. Like the original uh, Super Nintendo. Same thing with all the other systems. And I'll swap back to 4DI. Ah, um, I could. Everything that works, like N64, I got uh, Dreamcast and GameCube working. Uh, let me try this GameCube here. It's a little bit to load because it's like pressing the uh, the ISO. And while that's loading, we do other things. So uh, N64, Dreamcast works, uh, Sega C, Genesis. Um, I couldn't get the PlayStation 2 working at a high enough resolution, uh, a low enough resolution. But uh, PlayStation 1 is all work as well, which is really nice. That uh, should be finished loading. You know, for 240p though, Wii doesn't look that bad. Anyway, I'm gonna kill this you guys with the idea. So I get the SNES working as well. I mean, PlayStation. Um, that's basically it. Uh, there's a couple of handhelds I got working. Uh, it's very difficult to get stuff working at 240p because most stuff wasn't expected to to be written for it. But uh, the Switch Res will swap the resolution down before it loads the actual emulator, which is real nice. So. Uh, So I'll again, I'll swap to 240p, load the emulator, and uh, it's all set up.